lords and ladies welcome back to another gameplay video today we have we become what we behold a lot of my friends have actually suggested that i play this game um i have not looked into it but i've seen that quoting one of my better friends he has said that this is kind of like what society is looked like today and it's kind of scary um and so you know we're just gonna we're gonna dive right in it's only about five minute play so without further ado, let's uh let's see what this game has to hold. We become what we behold. We shape our tools and then our tools shape us. Marshall McCluden. Just some normal peeps. that just normal peeps no one seems to be affected let's see what happens can I turn down this sound because this is very loud give me a second there we go all right um that's a little bit better Never mind, hats aren't anymore. Look at that. You gotta catch me doing something. Gross, get a room. Ah! It's a PDA. And so now they, they no longer show themselves in public. Now let's see how they take Crazy square attacks. So I guess this is gonna set fear into squares, and people are gonna start avoiding squares. See? That. Now the circles fear the squares. So the squares aren't too very happy about this. It's saying distrust among the squares and the circles. See? And so the squares are being seen as, I guess, higher ups in the circles and it's <laughs> this. What is it doing now? Nothing, I guess. I guess. I mean that's cute. Who tunes in to watch people getting along? So honestly, this is actually how the media portrays everything. It always portrays uh, people as they never want to show people getting along. They always want to show people uh, getting violent and being hateful towards people. Which is, a, it is a real problem with uh, the news today. You see, we have this square with the circle getting really mad and hating the squares. And so now more and more hatred is being spread out. Okay, you gotta catch me yelling. There you go. And so now the squares hate the circles. And remember, this all started because this one, this this one crazy, this one crazy square started yelling at people randomly. But you see now that like they he met up with the people that were you know, happy and getting along, he's no longer a problem. So now we're getting even more, and there's now there's now even. There's now even people that are trying to make squares and circles love each other again. But as seen in this center picture, it shows that, you know, that's not what the news likes. And I just got showing, they just keep showing 
more and more hatred. And eventually, um, everyone just starts hating everyone else. And now everyone is just divided, which is really a bad... Pats ain't cool no more, haven't you heard? The very first story we ran on here was that, you know, this man... Wow. Um... Yeah, this is... Oh, God, this is... How it starts. That was, I mean, it was a really short game, but it showed a lot of issues. And it really does, it does show how the media can be such, such a, you know, destructive thing nowadays. We become what we truly behold. And if everyone only sees the news and what the news has to say and the news always wants more ratings, so, and always violence does bring new ratings, which is sad to see, but people tend to love seeing violence over, uh, happiness. That's not saying that, you know, people don't love seeing happiness. A lot of people love seeing happiness on the news. I love seeing great stories and incredible stories happening on the news. Um, but it is true that violence brings in more ratings and more viewership. And it's sad to see that because the news is such an influential, influential thing on everyone's lives. And it just really influences their point of view, their perspective, all their thoughts. And when the news shows this tiny, very small, zoomed-in piece of the world, it portrays a larger, more hurtful view of everyone else. It's that great metaphor of you're seeing, you're trying to peep into a room, but the only way you can see into the room is through a tiny keyhole. Now, if you were to see only violence in that keyhole, you would imagine everything in that room is all about violence. But that's just one small example of the hurt, the violence, the injustices that are happening in this world. And it really feels like we should all be, instead of trying to focus on those injustices, try to come together and really become one world, one people, and really just unify and try to make this world a better place for not only us and everyone around us, but also future generations. What we do today affects the generations that come after us and multiple generations after that. It's really heavy to watch a game like a, this isn't even really a game. It's just a, you know, I guess it is a game to see a game like this show us what truly is happening. And yeah, this might be a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a, uh, you know, I don't know. It's just this really, this might really blow it out of portions and it'll happen really quick but this it's you know it happens every day and it paints it's it while it happened really fast in this game over the news it happens slowly and it paints a bad picture 
and in the end, we all just have to focus that we are, you know, one people all just trying to make our way in this world. And just because one bad thing happens because of one singular person that may or may not be of a different race, color, uh, sex, religion from you does not mean everyone in that group is just like that one person. You can't hold hatred in your heart for one group because of one thing one person did. And so, with that, I hope all you guys start thinking about your actions and try to make this world a better place and don't hold as much hatred in your heart for those that you see that may or may not do hateful things and destructive things to those around you. And with that, Stay royal, my friends.